Hi everyone, this is Amin, and in this video I decided to answer this question, which seems like a rudimentary question. However, as someone who is working in this industry, I realize there are still some people that they do not know the answer of that. So to come up with a response, I decided to make this video and briefly tell you about that. Before going further, there are some uh, basic knowledge or history that are valuable to know. Like the history of uh, wireless networking, it goes back to the World War II when uh, US military, they decided to send some battle information across the enemy lines over an uh, encrypted RF channel. But uh, the history of, uh, you know, Wi-Fi is not too, too old. Like it started in 1990s. If I'm not mistaken, between 1997 and 1999, they used Wi-Fi for, uh, you know, like low speed uh, communication channel in warehouses to do the uh, data collection with uh, some barcode scanners and uh, this is the beginning of actually of the Wi-Fi and also what is abbreviation? Abbreviation is an umbrella term that can cover both initialism and acronym. Whenever we can read an, an abbreviation like a single word we can say radius AMPS, SATCOM, RAM, whenever we can read it like a single word, it will be an acronym. And whenever we cannot read it, it is, uh, it's just like the uh, initial letter of each word like TCP, PSK, HTTP, uh, it will be initialism. So let's go further to the Wi-Fi. When we search for Wi-Fi abbreviation, we'll see that thing, wireless fidelity on the net. But uh, what's that? To be honest, it's just a mix up with hi-fi. Hi-fi, it means a high fidelity and you know, fidelity, it means like loyalty, but there's no such uh, wireless loyalty or fidelity term. And it's totally wrong. People mistakenly use it. In order to uh, like refer to something, we should have a reference. And my reference is this book, CWNA. And actually it's the Bible of that. If we search, look up that thing on that reference book on chapter one, page four, we'll see it said, uh, Wi-Fi is simply a brand name used to market 802.11 WLAN technology. It's a brand name. And uh, in the rest of that, it says, uh, Ambiguity in IEEE framework standards for wireless communications allowed manufacturer to interpret the 802.11 standard in different ways. What does this mean? It and what is the result? It will result in interoperability between the vendors. For example, imagine you have all devices in Cisco brand and you're gonna add different vendor like HP or I don't know, Rockos, whatever and they won't interpret with each other so it was a weird situation and after that this organization WECA wireless ethernet uh, compatibility alliance it uh, actually champions enforcing them to have uh, that compatibility so all of them they send their devices to uh, actually the lab of WECA to do the thorough, uh, thorough testing and whatever and also WECA it's well known for Wi-Fi Alliance and again based on the book it said Wi-Fi Alliance chose the term Wi-Fi as a marketing brand and it is Wi-Fi actually it's a marketing brand chosen by that company which uh, decided to actually solve this problem interoperability between the vendors so it is whatever that I wanted to tell you uh, I hope you enjoyed and uh, if you already know about the wi Wi-Fi and those information, thumbs up to you and thanks for watching my video. Bye everyone. Bye.